In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Elgato Capture Card No Signal Error. Now there's multiple reasons why this error could be happening, and the first thing you always want to do is you want to verify your cable connection. So check all of your HDMI ports, ensure that the HDMI cable from the PS5 is connected to your capture card, and also make sure that the other HDMI cable that connects your monitor to your capture card is also fully plugged in, because even if it's like slightly loose, it is not going to work. That is what I noticed, so what oftentimes what I have to do is I have to go ahead and just unplug it and then plug it in again, but firmly because there really is no room for error. It needs to be perfect when it comes to HDMI. It's not like USB where like you can get away with like a loose connection. No, with HDMI, you need to fully insert it. And if there's any dust or debris in your HDMI cables, that could be an issue why. So please go ahead and try to clean those out. All right, now sometimes what you may need to do is actually adjust these settings within the console itself. So let's say, for example, you're trying to record on a PlayStation 5 and it's just not working for you. You're not getting the signal. Then what you also need to do is you need to go ahead and press on settings. Then you need to go ahead and select on screen and video. Then you need to go ahead and scroll down until you see HDR and you want to make sure that HDR is actually turned off for your capture card to work because that is something that does play a factor. So please go ahead and make sure that your console settings are correct. And another thing that I recommend that you guys do is actually go ahead and restart your computer. So oftentimes your computer just needs to refresh the signal. So just go ahead and just save all of your files and stuff like that. Make sure to save everything, make sure your device is ready to restart and you want to go ahead and just restart your device. And that's honestly what I had to do a lot, like nine times out of 10, whenever I got the no signal error, I just had to do that particular thing itself. And also you want to make sure that you do have the correct source. So I'm currently using 4k capture utility, which is part of the Elgato ecosystem software and you want to make sure that it's actually capturing your capture card so you want to go over here to where it says settings and you basically want to plug in your capture card obviously and then where it says capture device you want to make sure that game capture hd 60s plus is actually turned on so sometimes the device may not be correct especially if you have multiple different like things and like pieces of technology connected on your device and stuff like that so you want to make sure that your capture card is actually selected but in my opinion guys the most effective way is to just restart your computer and see if that does work and obviously checking your hdmi signals to make sure they're on par and ready to go if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.